Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The reusable launch vehicles technology demonstrator is one of the most technologically challenging endeavors of ISRO towards developing the essential technologies for a fully reusable launch vehicle to enable low cost access to the space. Unlike the American Space Shuttle or X37B space plane that performs most of the missions in orbit the Indian RLV is designed to provide a reusable upper stage to assist bring satellites to the orbit. Now, once completing its mission, the launcher will be able to return to the atmosphere and land and further refurbished for reuse on new missions. Employing such reusable elements for satellite launchers, ISRO engineers hope they can bring down the launch cost to $2,000 per kilogram. An operational version would take 10 to 15 years to complete. The RLBTD program is ISRO's steps towards realizing a two-stage to orbit that is TSTO reusable launch vehicle. Talking about the configuration of RLBTD, it is similar to that of an aircraft but combines the complexity of both launch vehicles and aircraft. The winged RLBTD has been configured to act as a flying test bed to evaluate various technologies, namely hypersonic speed, flight, autonomous landing, and powered cruise flight. In future, this vehicle will be scaled up to become the first stage of India's reusable two-stage orbital launch vehicle. The RLV-TD consists of a fuselage body, a nose cap, double delta wings, and twin delta tails. It also features symmetrically placed active control surfaces called elevons and rudder. This technology demonstrator was boosted to Mach number 5 by conventional solid booster HS9 designed for low burn rate. The selection of materials like special alloys, composites and insulation materials for developing an RLV TD and crafting of its part is very complex and demands highly skilled manpower. Many high technology machinery and test equipments were utilized for building this vehicle. The major objective of this RLB TD is to showcase hypersonic aerothermodynamic characterization of wing body, evaluation of autonomous navigation guidance and control schemes, integrated flight management, and thermal protection system evaluation. Now let's talk about the maiden trial of this RLB TD. It was successfully flight tested on May 23rd, 2016 from SDSC SHAR Sriharikota validating the critical technologies such as autonomous navigation, guidance and control, reusable thermal protection system and re-entry mission management. In this experiment, the 6.7 meter long vehicle was launched on top of an HS9 solid rocket booster which lifted the RLV TD off from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center Sriharikota at 7 hour IST. After a successful flight of 91.1 second, HS9 burnt out, following which both HS9 and RLTV DD mounted on its top coasted to a height of about 56 kilometers. At that height, the RLV VTD separated from HS9 booster and further ascend to a height of about 65 kilometers. From that peak altitude of 65 kilometers, the RLVTD began its descent followed by atmospheric re-entry at around Mach 5. The vehicle's navigation, guidance and control system accurately steered the vehicle during this phase for safe descent. After successfully surviving a high temperature of re-entry with the help of its thermal protection system, the RLB TD successfully glided down to the defined landing spot over the Bay of Bengal at a distance of about 450 kilometers from Sri Harikota, thereby fulfilling its mission objectives. Now, the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO is all set to carry out the first landing demonstration of RLB TD and this is happening this Saturday. The landing demonstration will involve a landing experiment or LEX in which RLV will be carried using helicopter to an altitude of 3 to 5 kilometers 
and then released at approximately 4 to 5 km from the runway with a horizontal velocity now after the release the rlv will glide and navigate towards the runway and will carry out a conventional autonomous landing this test is planned in the defense airfield near chitadurga in karnataka this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector